Okay, 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 okay. What the hell is going on at Adidas with Yeezy? Someone tell me, man. Yo, welcome back. So, if you don't know already, my name is Patrick T. I do reviews on all kind of kicks and trainers. My goal is to try and help you decide whether or not to cop or drop. That's it. So, when I review, I give my honest opinion and I cover other things within the sneaker industry. And this is what we're covering today because what went on at Adidas with Yeezy? I just don't get it. But if you don't know already, let me give you a little history. These aren't facts, these are just what I, my recollection. Yeah, you can look it all up and whatever. Kanye was doing a little, I want to be out of the Adidas contract. I'm not feeling it. I'm not giving me the creative thingy, whatever. I want to be out of it. He's giving all those vibes, tweeting, different things, whatever, about Adidas CEOs and whatever. Then he goes a bit left and starts cussing other people and whatever. I'm not going to get into that. You can go and Google what it was. But it caused a lot of people to go, you've gone too far. Yeah, so he's getting cancelled left, right and said all over the place. And that's what late to the party in cancelling him. Now, my opinion is they're late to party in cancelling him because they know how much money he brings in for them. But anyway, they were late to the party in cancelling him. They eventually cancelled him. Now, what this left them with, or rumoured to have left them with, is $500 million worth of stock. And it hit them financially in terms of the financial markets and the amount of money Yeezy brought into Adidas. Now, the rumour was Adidas were still going to sell this stock. They were just going to remove the Yeezy name from the stock. Now, I've had 350s, and to be honest with you, the only Yeezy sign you see is in the in the sole. It says Yeezy, Adidas, whatever. I could be wrong. Might be other things, but that's what I recall. I've got some here. I can go and check it. But that was a rumour. I always thought that was a bit... Not as simple as they made it out to be. Because although you may have terminated the contract for gross misconduct or bringing the brand into disrepute or something like that, there's always counter arguments to that. So you could be facing a big lawsuit and money going left right. Don't get me wrong, Adidas got money, but Kanye's got money too. So either which way, even if Adidas won at the end, they'd have to still spend money to defend it. Do you, do you know what I mean? And you don't really want that kind of publicity as well. So... They were going to do this. They are going to release some trainers, not in a Yeezy name. The big question at the time was, are you going to buy? Some people saying yeah. Some people saying no, because you can't treat Yeezy like that, and X, Y, and Z, and so-and-so. But it never happened. It just never happened. All gone quiet. Nothing really happening. The next thing you know, there's rumours, or it's actual fact, that the shareholders in Adidas were taking the board to court for the losses because of their termination of Kanye. Now, this is a madness in a sense, because you remember, there's a big cry at Adidas for not dropping Kanye, for moral reasons, yeah? Didn't hear anything about shareholders now. Now their pocket's being hurt, they're like, no, 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 no. I want my money. Forget morals, I want my money. I'll even take you to court to get my money. So, in the last few days, Adidas and Kanye have sat around the table. I shouldn't say the last few days. They could be sitting around the table for ages. But the last few days, it's been announced that they have sat around the table and they've come to an agreement. Now, from all the different reports, and like, when I say this is a big thing because it's on Reuters, it's on BBC News, it's on Sky News, it's in the Financial Times, it's everywhere. They've agreed that they've got this $500 million worth of stock which they're going to sell with the Yeezy name, with Kanye's blessing, and he's going to get 15% of the sales. Now, if it is 500 million, he gets 15%. He's getting peas. He's getting peas. Even 1%, he's getting peas. Yeah? That means that Adidas, on the other hand, in terms of morals, are saying that they're going to donate. I don't know how much. Is it all the profit or some of it? Or they're going to donate some money or a lot of money to worthy causes which Kanye may have upset. So they're going to make some money. They're going to get rid of the stock they've got sitting there because apparently it costs more to burn it and then the environmentalists will come in and things like that. So they've got they've worked out that 
they've had to come to a deal to get rid of a stock, terminate contract, and probably they'll have to deal with the losses they don't get from Yeezy and a later, later issue, but they haven't got this stock sitting there, which is dead money. What I don't get is how the CEO, whoever it is, I just didn't see this coming. You've got people there sitting there looking at MI sheets, management information, telling you how much figures Yeezy brings in, know what's going to happen when you drop him. That's why you probably didn't drop him, because you knew how much money was coming in. But you decide to drop him because of the pressure from that people outside. Yeah, I was in pressure. On, remember with um, Colin Kaepernick, Nike were pressured to drop him. He never, They never dropped him or whatever. Different situation, but there was pressure on them. They never drop him. Yeah. And that's because taking that pressure. I said, listen, he wants to go anyway. He's, he's talking badness about us. Why don't they just say, he's talking about it, let's terminate his contract, but on our terms. Tell you what, you want to go, Kanye? This is what we're going to do. You're going to take 15%. We've got all this stock. We need to sell this stock. We're going to take 15%. We're going to put out a bullet in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because of what you've done, we're going to be terminating the contract early. It was going to terminate a year or two from now, but we're going to terminate early as of from whatever. Yeah? Putting it out there. Come to an end. You're happy. I'm happy. You take your money. Take your money. Sheryl is going to be happy. Morale's is morality of everything why am I twisting up my words morality of everything's cool you know what I mean we've taken everything on board we've taken the pressure this is what we're doing you'd have been cool but all this not dropping him then dropping him then you're going to sell stuff but not selling stuff then you're going to get back together you don't get back together and now you're going to get sued by young shareholders and now you've made an agreement it's a madness like will that CEO still be in charge of Adidas in a year's time I don't know I don't know it just smells a bit not str- you've got to do things with your chest, Adidas. You're just looking a little weak right now. That's all I'm saying. You're just looking a little tender. You know what I mean? Like you've been boxed up in a ring or something. You're looking a little punch drunk right now. And it's not looking good. What I want to know is, when they release these Nets Yeezys, who's buying them? Because for me, they're going to sell out. People are going to see it like, these are the last Yeezys. I'm getting them. They're going to sell out. These people have burnt their Adidas or sold all their Adidas, sold all the Yeezys because because of what Kanye said. These people who just like, I was going to buy them even if it didn't have his name on it, they, but they just better be cheaper. So I want to know who's buying, who's going to cop. Tell me in the comments and why you're going to cop. Me personally, I might try it. Depends. Depends on what they release because to be fair, I was getting a bit tired of the 350s and all that stuff, just colorways. I can't lie to you. That's it. it? You got when you got three or four, you just, is what it is, isn't it? Sure. But I don't know, man. But that was me, man. It, it, w- let me know what your takes on this Adidas and Yeezy deal, man. It's just, it's just Adidas look a bit punch drunk right now. I think it's a KO for Adidas on this. Can't lie. But anyway, that's me, Patrick T. I'm out. Peace.